This is a bag house for an air handling system on Bellingham Technical College's welding program building. It takes in air off all the welding booths here up to the bag house assembly. And when we get too much differential pressure, it blows down with jets of compressed air and knocks the dust off the bags internally. There's a system already designed to do this, measuring differential pressure and controlling these solenoid valves. We want, however, we wanted to install our own auxiliary DP measurement, which is right here. We brought a pair of tubes down right here to a rose mount transmitter. And so we're gonna measure that same differential pressure and indicate it on our new prototype SCADA system. So let me show you that. We're gonna head over there. This is very much a prototype. It's in very rough form right now. We're gonna permanently install it later, but we just had it set up right now where you could see it. We are using a LabJack T7 data acquisition unit to measure voltage. It's got 14 channels of analog input. And right now we're using channel zero, analog input zero right there. We are measuring the drop across the 250 ohm resistor, which is carrying the current from that rose mount transmitter. I have some code running on a Raspberry Pi computer that is taking the raw analog input data in floating point form, converting that into uh, inches of water column, which is what the transmitter is ranged for. I've got it displaying right here. So here's my keyboard and monitor connected to the Raspberry Pi on a very temporary basis. You can see the screen right here. I've got all these channels of uh, data. Uh, channel zero right now is the raw voltage signal that we're reading off that resistor. Channel 15 has been configured to condition that signal and display it in a unit of inches water column as bag house differential pressure. So every time I hit the uh, shift capital R button here, it's going to refresh the screen. They're refreshed. They're refreshed again. And you can see the live readout of pressure there, 1.9. As it builds up higher, it's going to get to a point where the air solenoids open up and uh, blow the dust off the socks inside the bag house unit. Anyway, like I said, very crude setup here. We will be permanently installing this later on using the LabJack units, talking Modbus protocol over Ethernet, using the Raspberry Pi computers running the Linux, Linux operating system and my own code that's going to acquire the data and present it in a form that is readable with units of measurement comments and all that. Uh, the purpose of this is to have students actually do some coding in the C language. They are going to be taking the code that I wrote and modifying it to scale and comment and label with units all the variables they're assigned to measure. And so they're going to use my basic software for modifying the functions to condition each one of the signal channels according to the application they have. It should be a very flexible system. It's been fun to write. It's a blast working with a Raspberry Pi, a single board uh, Linux-based computer. It's an awesome piece of hardware, very inexpensive. It does everything I need. And the LabJack units, phenomenal too, is a data acquisition. Very uh, user-friendly, very rugged, very happy with that. So we're well on our way to getting our SCADA system put together, our Linux-based Raspberry Pi platform SCADA system.